But I don't think it helped growing up with Agnes. I mean, I don't think it hindered. God, that was Freudian. I don't think it, um, I think it definitely helped, obviously, um, having a flatmate who became a supermodel. That wasn't, you know, particularly bad. I think just the, um, the brand itself has got a, quite a youthful feel to it. And I think also my background, I just I came from a fashion editor on teen magazines. And then I kind of, the t-shirt thing just started out as a bit of a joke, kind of an in-joke amongst my friends, which quickly grew. And then it kind of, I was almost kind of offered the opportunity after that. And so I took it and then sort of grew from there. Well, my first show was basically eight t-shirt dresses. <laughs> I was like, okay, I make t-shirts, but I need full outfits. So let's make them longer. That makes it a dress. So I had an intern teaching me how to cut a t-shirt pattern in my living room. So I was taught by interns early on. And then it's, I think f from that point, I just had to employ people much sooner than a lot of other designers. I just had to employ a pattern cutter and, you know, work with sampling factories rather than making things myself. It was just missing out that step of kind of maybe locking myself in my bedroom and making a collection from concept to actual collection finished. I just had to get people to help me realise the ideas, I suppose. Hopefully it's that personality and that level of humour and playfulness within the clothes. I want to create something that's enjoyable. I mean, I'm not stupid. I know it's a very serious business and obviously now it's very important business for me. It's not that fashion shouldn't be taken seriously in that way, but I think it should be about enjoyment and about fun and it should be, you know, it's only dresses. No one's going to die, but, you know, obviously it's still a big business and it pays a lot of people's wages and all that, so I just think it should be treated as something to be enjoyed. I mean, the reason why I started a brand was because um, the review of my first show, which was the slogan T-shirts, um, one of them, one of the reviews from Star.com, there was a line that said, um, it's all very funny, it was all really good and fun, but if, you know, the joke will only last for five minutes, so if Holland wants to carry on doing this, I'll have to think of something else. And that, for me, was my real kind of turning point of, like, spurring me on. So the next season, we launched dresses, swimwear, denim, jewellery, handbags, eyewear. It wasn't a fuck you, it was more of a like, okay, you said I've got to think of something else, I did, here it is. And I'm knackered, because I've not slept for six months. Um, but yeah, that was a real kind of um, kick up the arse for me, because I, I read that and I was like, yeah, that's a good point. That's why I think, you know, if a review is scathing, as long as it's constructive, I can often see the point, because I'm a Gemini.